Today I'm going to teach you how to shield mine in pool 2, which is the cover and ethereum pool. And those tokens will be 50-50, so you'll have 50% cover and 50% ethereum. So to get to the pool, you're going to go to our website, app.coverprotocol.com, and you're going to log in with your MetaMask wallet, and on the side, go to shield mining. And this pool is going to be right at the top. It's going to say cover ETH, right under shield mining pool. Click into it. And down here, you'll have a link to go to Sushi Swap. Click it. And that should load for you. It should have the cover token and the ETH token. Now, if you wanted to add the max amount of cover, you'd put max, and it'll fill out the amount of ETH you need. Again, these will be 50, 50. So 50% 50 cover and 50% ETH. You could put any amount you want in here. No, it'll, it'll still fill it out for you. And then you're going to press, I don't have it approved, but you're going to have to approve it. That'll be one transaction. It might be around a dollar, 50 cents, something like that. And then once that transaction goes through, you'll be able to press supply. And supplying means you're putting 50% ETH and 50% cover into the liquidity pool. Sushi Swap will then send you an SLP token, which is their liquidity provider token. This is the token that you will use to shield mine. So head back to our website. Now, where it says zero SLP available, that will show the amount of SLP token you have. Now, you can press max and that'll enter the full amount you have here. You're going to press confirm deposit and that will be a transaction so that will cost gas or ethereum so make sure you have enough to deposit. Now if you want to claim your rewards you press claim all rewards that'll be a transaction as well which again will cost ethereum. Now you can also press confirm, withdraw, and claim rewards. That will exit you from the pool and claim your rewards. And you're just going to press however much you want to claim. And that's it. I'm going to show you how to shield mine with claim and or no claim tokens. So once you have claim and no claim tokens, let's say for curve, you're going to go to shield mining and you're going to select the curve pool, either claim or no claim, or you can do both. Now for claim, you click into it and you'll see go to balancer pool. This will bring you to the correct curve claim balancer pool with the correct expiration date. So this link right here, click it. This will bring you to the correct balancer pool. And you're either going to add liquidity and you just add the max here. Approve the transaction and you'll get a balancer pool token. That balancer pool token is the token balancer gives you for providing that claim liquidity and you're going to be adding 80% claim token and 20% die in this case. Once you receive that token back, you'll go back to the coverprotocol.com, app.coverprotocol.com and right here you will see BPT available. That will show the amount of BPT token you have. You'll press max, confirm deposit, and then you will be shield mining for cover token. 
Remember, this cost gas or Ethereum to deposit this BPT token. Now, to withdraw, you can either claim just your rewards. This will cost gas or Ethereum. Again, that's one transaction. Or you can exit our shield mining completely and claim your rewards with one transaction right here. So you would press max, claim all rewards, or confirm withdraw and claim rewards. And that will exit you from our shield mining and you will claim your rewards. Now, to get out of the balancer pool, you would press remove liquidity and you would select the amount you want to remove. Show you how to file a claim. If you hold a claim token for any of these protocols and you experience a loss from a hack, you can file a claim. So on the left hand side, you will go to claims. In the right hand corner, press file claim. Now remember, this incident must be within three days of your reporting. Select the protocol and we'll say curve. Now select the date. This happened two days ago. So the 27th. Now what happens when you file a claim is it'll go to a community vote on our snapshot dot page and the community will vote with their cover token on whether it's valid or invalid. If it's valid, it'll move on to the CVC. If it's invalid, it stops there. The claim is denied. If it does move on to the CVC, they will be deciding the payout percentage and whether it's valid or invalid. The CVC is made up of experts in the security field in smart contracts and also smart contract auditing. Now, to do this, you will do the above steps up here and you will press approve. This will prove that you can do the transaction. This will cost 10 die. That is the fee to file a claim. So once that approves, you will press submit claim. By submitting it, you're submitting the claim to the community so they can vote on it. You can also do a force file claim. This will bypass the community and go straight to the CVC. Then they will decide the payout percentage and whether it's valid or invalid. This will cost 500 die. With both of these fees, the 500 die and the 10 die, they will be refunded to the claim filer if it is a valid claim and it is accepted and paid out. If it is invalid and does not pay out, the fee will go to the treasury. Now you can always check the status on the claim by going back into claims. And here you will see we have pickle, the date filed, the date of the incident, the date of the decision. It'll show who it was filed by and the status. It'll say accepted, denied, invalidated, or waiting for community vote. You can click into it and it'll show you these steps. I'm going to show you how to redeem your collateral back. Now if you have active claim or no claim tokens, you're going to go to the redeem tab. This is only for active coverage that you want to redeem your collateral back. You're going to select the protocol. Select the expiration date. Now you will see claim tokens and no claim tokens down here. Mine says zero. Yours will show, let's say, five claim. Then there should be five no claim. So these must be equivalent. Five and five and now to redeem your five die back you would enter five 
under amount to redeem and there will be an approve button here first you're going to approve that and then the redeem button will pop up that will be a second transaction so first approve that's the first transaction and then redeem that's the second transaction these will both cost gas or cost ethereum so make sure you have enough ethereum in your wallet to complete this transaction before doing so now this is only for an active coverage where you want to redeem your collateral now if there is an accepted claim where you have the claim token you're going to go to dashboard and you're going to go to my covers now you'll see a green redeem button here and this will be there for either an expired coverage or an accepted claim so my cover under dashboard for an accepted claim which you have the claim token for or an expired coverage and you press the green redeem button and that'll cost gas as well so make sure you have enough ethereum in your wallet to cover this transaction as well And also, please remember that to redeem expired coverage, you must be holding only a no claim token. And again, a green redeem button will come up. So expired coverage equals a no claim token. For an accepted claim, you will be holding a claim token. For the claim token, again, a green redeem button will pop up. So accepted claim is a claim token.